Hi there, these comments are for LC and I am Michael Buckoff, the founder owner and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the TOEFL online course, the seven step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. And uh, you completed uh, one of my uh, uh, pronunciation pretests at my website, and you're also one of my students at California State University, uh, San Bernardino. And what I want to do right now is to play your pretest, and I'll I'll give you a few comments as we go along. And uh, near the end of the video, I will recommend specific lessons I think you can focus on in order to improve your intelligibility, and I'll also give you an intelligibility score. Okay, I'm just trying to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, that'll look even better there, so we can see. Oh, that's a little too big. Okay, here we go. Boat, boat, run, grow, honor, over, father, low. Okay, that's good, good so far. Cat, boat, map, mop, check, talk, and on, mac, mock. Nice. Right, brown, brill, lie, lot, loyal, high, hunt. Okay, uh, I'd like to have you take a look at this lesson here, lesson number nine, the oi. So you have the oe coming together, a diphthong are two different sounds there, so broil, loyal. Gate, get, late, let, mate, mat, blade, blad, then, then. Now this one, you want to make in lesson 10 the A, the A a little bit longer, that's a long vowel, gate, get, late, let, mate, met. Blade, bled, Dane, Dan. Meat, meat, bad, pit. Now that's not pat, Pete, Pete. Lead, lip, seat, seat, heat, heat. Okay, this one's the same thing. I'd like you to work on lesson number 11 also. E, E, meat, mit, Pete, pit, leap, lip, seat, sit. Now, it's, it's tedious work, but if you're not pronouncing those vowel sounds with the duration they need, it can be difficult for native speakers to understand what you're saying. Look, look, luck, took, tool, tool, tongue, could, cool. Okay, that's pretty good. Match, mask, cheap, sheep, feature, feature, and check it, shift, chair, share. Okay, I think that's pretty good generally. Okay, let's keep going. An uh, oath, oath, half, half, fine, wine. Vine. Fan, van. Van. Viver, viver. Uh, I, I think you also need to take a look at lesson 14. Uh, how, habit, who, uh, rahish, behavior, hate, uh, Batman, beaten, important. Brightening, brightening, hay track, uh, threaten. This is a sound, it's, you're pronouncing it more with uh, British English, and that's okay, but I just want to point out to you, the T, when the T's in the middle of the word, it's, we refer to this in linguistics as a glottal stop. It means that we don't really pronounce it, we say Batman, bitten, important, brightening, hat rack. Threatened. So in lesson 15, study the sound called the glottal stop. You'll see it in the lesson. Threatened. Major. major measure. Fragile. Freezer. Frasier. Frasier. Legend. Lesion. Lesion. Legend. Lesion. Engine. Azer. Large. Asia. Okay, so you also need to work on lesson number 16. 
cake, catch, sink, sack, came, game, cape, gap, lake, lack. Good. I think you're okay with the with the K and the G. Learn, rare, better, luggage, rugged, order, right, light, committed. Okay, listen, 18, I want you to take a look in there. It's called the flap. It's in this particular sound here. Better, better, utter, committed. These are all the same sound. It In this case, when we have the two T's, we pronounce it kind of like a soft E in American English. So you can take a look at that in lesson number 18. Pace, base, flap, flap, cap, cape, lap, lap, pay, bay. Okay, the problem here, what's going to throw you into trouble with your speaking, is this is kind of a principle you can remember with pretty much all consonant sounds. Uh, when you have a voiced consonant, the B, it means there's vibration in your vocal folds when you produce a sound. B, B, flab. The vowel which precedes it, in this case, the a, ah, a, ah, it needs to be longer. Now, and, and when you have a voiceless consonant, as in the case of a P, the vowel should be shorter. So when I say I'm, I'm going to say these not in exactly the same time. Notice, flap, flab, lap, lab. You're saying flap, flab, lap, lab. I'm going to say flap, flab. Lap, lab. So there's a difference there. So that's lesson 19. You should also study that one. Lies, lights, zip, zip, zoo, 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 mess, mess, uh, Eliza, Eliza. Yeah, I think you can work on that z, lies, zip, maze. So this is lesson 20. Multiple, Robert, example, pressure, principle, number, people, philosopher, okay, good. volcanism, written, maximum, question, summer, reason, chas chasm, open, tip, dip, cart, cart. No, it's cart, card. It goes back to lesson 19, the same principle here. The T is a voiceless consonant. The D is a voiced consonant, which means the vowel which precedes the voiced consonant should be longer. So then I say cart, card, fat, fad. And it doesn't, it doesn't sound like much, but it can actually make a big difference in your understanding. In many cases, a native speaker might not be able to understand the difference between the two words if you're not pronouncing the D or the vowel before the D longer. Uh, tight, tight. Dream, dream. Fat, fat, fat. Uh, team, dream. So I think you should also study lesson number 23. So let's work on these together right now. You ready? Let's do these together and you can practice more in the lesson. Cart, card. Tight, tied. Fat, fad. Tongue, tie, tie. No, no, no. You're saying tie. It's a TH, which means the tongue needs to be between your teeth. Thigh, thigh. Thigh. Breath, breathe. Breath, breathe. Teeth, teeth. Nope. Teeth, teeth. Remember again, you have the same principle as lesson number 19. Uh, when you have that TH at the end of the word, the voiceless TH, the, th, the, the vowel here is shorter, so you say breath. But when you have the TH here, the voiced TH, this is the interdental voice consonant, you have to pronounce this longer. So then we say breath, breathe, teeth, teeth. Rough, though, through, though, and worth, worthy. Okay, so also lesson number 24. Now we know some important information. This is actually a fairly accurate uh, uh, pronunciation diagnostic pr 
pretest for vowel and consonant sounds, we now know what your specific problems are with your vowel and your consonant sounds. Here they are. You might want to write these down. Now, what you want to do is, if you want to improve your pronunciation, first of all, go through all of my pronunciation lessons in the pronunciation section of my course, but you want to pay more attention to these lessons. Lesson number 9, 10, 11, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 23, and also lesson number 24. So as you go through those lessons, uh, read with me out loud as I teach you the information in those videos. And reading out loud is good. And especially make sure you complete each video. Each lesson will have two different voice recording exercises that you can post. You can post them over at my Better TOEFL Scores Talk group. These are for independent study, or you can just use your phone, and you can record yourself using your phone. But it's important for you to monitor your progress in these specific lessons, and always make sure that you compare your recording to the recording that you see in the video. This is important. Now, also, it's a good idea for you to uh, speak English as much as you can. It's tempting. I think your first language is Chinese, and I know there are Chinese students in our program and it's very easy to speak Chinese with other students but that's not going to help you with your pronunciation and you you know now that you do have some weaknesses you have some problems you have some things you want to work on and you can get better now in addition to that watch American movies that's also a great way to improve your pronunciation I would set a goal set a goal every week to watch maybe two or three American movies. All right, now we're going to the next part of the pretest. You're going to tell me a little bit about yourself, and also it gives me a chance to evaluate your pronunciation. My education background is undergraduate. Student. I would say not education background, but educational. You see the AL there? My educational background. Student have uh, a bachelor diploma and uh, bachelor's a bachelor's uh, diploma. So don't forget the S on the end of that word, and you want to pronounce it as a Z because it comes after a voice consonant. I I, I have been work at some bank in China. Diploma and. Uh, I, I I have been work at some. Not I have been work. You want to say I have been working at a bank. So don't forget that ing there. Um, bank. So you're using what's called the present perfect progressive tense. In China. Um, learning English and the speaking. I can speaking. Uh, is very important because I need to. Um, get the MBA, um, MBA degree, and uh, okay. finish the MBA program. All right. Uh, I want. I hope I can achieve to pass the TOEFL test or just uh, finish the level six. Okay. That's all. Thank. You. Yeah, you can do this. I I think you have some pretty good skills. I remember in class that you completed the grammar diagnostic pretest, so you now know specific grammar areas that you can study in my online TOEFL course. And now you also know what you can do to improve your pronunciation, so it's just a matter of you being consistent in your study. Uh, I'm not going to be watching over your shoulder that you review those grammar lessons. That's something that you have to do on your own if you want to prepare yourself for your graduate study. If you want to reach your TOEFL score. All right, now that now what I want to do is the next thing is I want to give you an intelligibility uh, score here. So the highest score you can get is 7.0, which is a native speaker. The lowest score you can get is a 1.1 out of 7. So uh, you actually do need to improve your speaking. Your goal here is by the time you get to the end of my class, try to reach what's called a 5.1 or higher 
on my intelligibility scale. Now, it's going to be tough. It's probably not possible you can do that in 10 weeks. But if you work really hard over the next two or three months, I think you, you can definitely improve your speaking and pronunciation of American English. Now, it's only, it on, only happen if you want to do it. You have to want to improve your speaking and your pronunciation. It's got to come from the heart, right? So you, you already know what you can do to get better, but you know, if you're not motivated, you're probably not going to do the work that you need to get better. Now, one other suggestion, uh, uh, watching, uh, uh, watching YouTube or going to YouTube and watching videos that have music and singing with the singer is also a great way to work on your pronunciation. So... Uh, I'm going to put you in the two area. You remember how you leave word endings off sometimes when you're speaking? I have been work at a bank instead of I have been working at a bank. You have vocabulary limitations. Uh, you have a lot of awkward pauses when you're speaking and so on. So I think that you fit into the two areas. So your speaking and pronunciation is low intermediate. Uh, I'm going to put you at about... Uh, 3.0 out of 7 right here so you you definitely need to improve your speaking and pronunciation of American English if you want to do better at your graduate program if you want people to understand you better uh, you're definitely going to want to practice alright anyway thank you very much for completing the uh, uh, pronunciation pretest and uh, keep up the good work